So, from what I read online, our local sheriff's department is having an open house today. So, how about we take a ride over there and, uh, well, let's see if they let me inside with my video camera. Come on in. We can give you the info we will. If right. We can. Exactly. That's the way it is. Yeah. Hello, young man. Who is this guy? Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you going to join our tour? Yay. I better, uh, I want to give away when you're done there. Okay. Um, I've been there a couple times. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is this the scared straight door? <laughs> yeah. I don't want to go in there. Come on in. You do have to have your cell phones off, you? your uh -huh. art divested that. here. Also, mm -hmm. any pocket knives, anything like that, cameras cannot go back there. Um, and we're also, the other thing is, uh, you can take the camera down to dispatch. Just okay. Back. The other problem is that we have so much security here now. D different doors have different codes and everything. I'm going to put a code in here. The code down into dispatch is different. You know, so uh, you might get through one, but you're not getting through the second one. So, yeah. Not only that, but what your front doors lock and uh, yeah. you can't get through them without being keyed out. Why don't you wait for me at the bottom of the stairs, please? Sure. Dispatches in here. Oh, yeah. Different code. If I ever lose my marbles, I'm going to get in here. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is our 911 center. Every 911 call in Dickinson County comes in here. A little different from it used to be, eh, Larry? <laughs> yeah. I have, say so. Yeah. Larry's retired High Mountain PD. He, he retired back in 57, uh, was that? <laughs> yeah, right. We have three positions that are identical. We always are manned with two. Two people are here 24-7. Um, the third one, we had a drowning here last uh, week, or a few days ago, excuse me, and the third position was manned for quite a while. So we got them, you know, they were just so busy doing stuff. So yeah, that position, that position, there you can sit at any one of them, they're all the same. Um, you'll see maps on the screens. That's a map that shows us where the 911 call comes in. You dial 911 either from a home or a cell phone, we can ping your number and we'll pop it up. A lot of people will block their numbers so that, you know, so that, like say uh, Google says, well, show us your location. Well, you turn your locators off. Under 911 law, that locator is automatically turned on when you dial 911. So you can't oh, deactivate like that part. Override so, it. Right. So that'll pop up. You can be out in a swamp. We had, uh, was it last fall? We had two women were hiking up on the Merriman East Road and got lost. So what they did, they have them dial 911. Okay, walk this direction for five minutes, stop, dial us again. We could actually track them and track, walk them right out of the woods. And you can do it just right on the screen. So that it's all kinds of cool stuff like that we can do. Um, the screens that have the, that green zero on it, um, UP of Michigan is one of the first places in the United States to have that capability. It's called Texty 911. You can actually on your phone text 911. Say somebody was breaking into your house, you could hide in the closet, sit there and text us, tell us what's going on. Never have to talk on the phone, and we can text back and forth to you. And we're at we're at the first phase. We are now uh, in the process of trying to upgrade that. It'll probably be within about a year. Um, we're going to be able to take video. You'll be able to actually show video, and we'll be able to trap it in the system and hold it. So those are kind of things going like on. Like a FaceTime. Kind yeah, of some, thing? something similar to that. Yes, but it'll be a 911, almost like a 911 FaceTime. Okay. The screen that you see with the the red, the light blue, and the dark blue. You know, kids, how you have radios and you got to talk on a radio and stuff. That's our dispatch radio. We use a mouse now to talk. We have a microphone, but the mouse is what we click on to talk to a different uh, cars. We talk, that radio system, I've, um, I have to go to Lansing or the sheriff's in Lansing. He can pick up his radio and say, I'm checking out the Holiday Inn uh, East in Lansing. 10 for We have direct communications throughout the entire state. Hmm. Yeah, you can be in oh, Copper that's Harbor. through their cell phone? Or no, through it's the, all, in this the is car. through, it's a radio system. It's all interconnected. Like all shortwave? Microwave and stuff. Like shortwave? Uh, like the old no, not with ham radio type. involved in it, but what they are, it's in the 800 megahertz range, mm -hmm. and that's what it's set up to do. 
and we we can talk to uh, anybody, just about anybody. Um, we know they're on a radio. When you talk on a radio, it gives us an ID number. Radios now are computers. They're actually a computer with a microphone and a speaker. You click it, it shows us an ID number. We can tell whose phone, whose radio that is. And we have alarm systems on the radio, so if you're in trouble, you press the button. We know who's in trouble, you know, and that type of stuff. So all of that's all so that's is it something that you carry? Yeah, it's like, here, this is a portable radio. All our law enforcement officers carry them. This is what it is. It's just oh, a radio okay. like that. It's got different buttons, but that screen pops up. And when you transmit, it'll pop up on, on there. It'll give you like a seven-digit ID number. Every radio has its own specific number. So much for uh, dead king and squad cars, huh? Yeah, Sitting no. on your yeah. tying you're up much, there. You pretty much know who's, uh, who's talking to you. So we do all of that. We All the fire and EMS go through here. Uh, Michigan DNR, we have Intercax with Marinette and Florence. Um, the train binge incident several years ago where we had uh, the mm -hmm. homicides down there was instrumental in us being able to get uh, 800 megahertz radios to all of the bordering counties in the state of Wisconsin and all the bordering counties in the state of Indiana and Ohio so they could always talk to us. So you got cross-border stuff, you talk to each other. It's into their center, so we put all that together. So, so then, like for that incident, does it come through here? Oh yeah, the, oh, yeah. everything. Including their dispatch centers, so all oh, the neighboring dispatch centers can keep up on the radio traffic as well to each other. Yeah. Oh, okay. Through the sheriff's department, two more we might need call the sheriff's department. Oh yeah, this uh, we we can talk to anybody. We are the backup center for Iron County and Gogebic County. So if something happens over there, we actually can take them over. And if you look on the screens, you see, um, uh, actually I don't know if you can pull it up, but you can see, I can see what's going on anywhere in the UP right now. Do you want me to monitor? Yeah, let's go into, look at it. So like, wasn't it uh, a month or so ago that uh, Iron County's 911 went down, the power service or whatever? That was Florence. That was Sunday. Florence? Sunday got wiped out. It wasn't Iron County, but um, I don't think it was Iron anyway, County. Anyway, does, somebody did. does this override so it? This then? is everything that's going on that they have logged in the county right now. All these colors, these or even call back all over the UP. Around three. So our red, like high. Red might be a traffic stop that's past five minutes. Red that needs it's a, a few um, to be reset. Like they need to be checked on and have it manually reset the system. Mm. You, you we do, do a five minute status yeah. checks. Yeah. Oh, okay. You do a traffic stop, you get out of the car and say, I'm at, I have license plate number ABC123 and I'm at you know, 123 Plum Street. Okay, we log it in, it starts a clock. At five minutes, this thing starts to flash red and say, hey, I need to do a status check on that car. It's been five minutes since I've heard from them. If you hear from them, then it, it starts that clock again. You start to Automatically? Clock over and over again. Mm. Yeah. You don't so, have to manually we just sit, reset it. I'm not going to do it on this person, yeah. but we just simply click on it and then click a little button up here and it resets it. It resets hmm. it. So, yeah. It's so, I mean, you always have to be on, on task while you're in here. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it looks yeah. bad when it's red too long. Oh, you know, years ago, <laughs> everything was pen and pencil and you had to well, keep going back well, to yeah, that. So yeah, I, I've done that. You know, and Larry, Larry did st similar stuff, but... You know, of course, my other question would be, obviously, you must have your own power source if something oh, yeah, happens we, and the power we, goes out. Can, generator can run. I have a dual source generator here that will run on natural gas forever. Natural gas goes out, it automatically puts the propane. So I have a generator run half the city here. You know, we overbuilt when we put this in just because we needed it. And it, it works pretty good. You know, so we've had, uh, this is a half million dollars. Um, is there an app that I can leave? give you to his um, When we put this all in, it just, it, it makes it uh, so much nicer. Nice and cool. So, yeah. It's nice and cool in here now, I hear. Or well, yeah. This air conditioner stands alone. So, so. I literally just turned it off. Yeah. It got too cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, this is it. Thank you. Well, cool. thank all right, you. I'll get you out the back door. Well, Thank you. Look at
everybody's favorite, favorite section, I'm sure. The SWAT team van. Yep, you would never notice until it was too late. Pretty cool. Able to come down here and check out all the different equipment. So that was pretty cool, eh? Kind of surprised they let me in there, uh, considering all of the uh, things going on across the country and all of the First Amendment checks that people watch on YouTube. So luckily with our service department, you can knock on their door, give them a call, and ask pretty much any question you want, and uh, they will be more than happy to answer your questions or let you see inside their dispatch center like today happened. So hope you guys liked that video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button if you think this was pretty cool. And always come over to my Facebook page, check out all the current stuff happening around my area and the stuff that I like to talk about. Have a great day, everybody.